What's going on guys, this is AP. Welcome to another tutorial on how to create a Gumtree-like website. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install it on your Sump or Womp. But in this tutorial, I'm going to use Sump. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to head in straight to my folder. Where's my Sump folder? And I'm just going to click on C drive. Okay. And I'm just going to click on C Sump. If you want to get to know as in how to install Zomp, how to set up Zomp, uh, just check on the description. I'll, I'll have a link in the description whereby you can just uh, see the steps on how to install your Zomp and how to secure it. So let's just carry on. And just going to call it the htdocs. And I'm just going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it uh, classy. I'm going to open it. And I'm just going to say this. And I'm just going to extract everything It's inside this zip folder. Let me say extract here. And we're just going to just wait for a few seconds. So just before I head in, let me just switch on my sump. Okay, I'm going to start my sump. Start. And start my Apache. Start on my SQL. Okay, it's done. So everything is now up and running. So let me just head into my browser. Just head into a browser. Okay, let me just bring this to the center. It's okay. I'm just gonna type in localhost slash, and I'm gonna give. I'm gonna head into the folder, and I'm just gonna say classy. Classy. You can see how it goes. Okay. Okay, it's taking time. OS class error it doesn't matter. Then you say okay, install. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna after this. So this is the installation. Then we're gonna say okay, run install. So after this, I'm just going to, uh, so on the host name, this part you have to listen very carefully. So on the host name, you're just going to leave it as local host and the database name, you're just going to leave it as OS class. So I'm just going to name it classy, sorry, classy. That's going to be our name of our database. Then of our username, this is the username of the the, 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 the PHP my admin my SQL so I'm just gonna because I've named my my, my database but the PHP my admin username I use root and I'm just gonna enter my password just a short password okay then it says OC table prefix just leave it like that so then click on advanced then then I'm just gonna say create database if it doesn't exist then create it then i'm going to say a db admin username i'm going to leave, leave it as root and the password i'm not going to tell you my password so let's just head on then i'm going to click on next we're going to just wait for it to install Whenever if you come up with any challenge on this stage, just let me know in the comment section, then I'll just help you. And I'm just gonna get back to you. It just only takes just a, a few hours to to respond. If it's not me who's gonna respond, definitely someone, one of my friends is going to respond to you. So okay, so I head in. Then my username is gonna be admin. Then I'm just gonna create just a simple password, a four-letter password and uh, title i'm gonna name it um classy also if you check on the description i'll add a link to some of the site that i created using the same software so that you could just have a look at it and comment and tell me what you think so content email i'm just gonna say i'm just gonna give it my email address you can just uh doesn't matter you can just if you just want to get in touch with me you can just use this email address just to get in touch so this is the email that I'm going to use and I'm just going to click on next okay okay so we're done 
So we're done installation and I'm just gonna say finish and go to the administration panel. So this is the password. So this password, you might be wondering, what's the name of this? Okay, that's my girlfriend's name. So, but it doesn't matter. Let's head into the next stage. Okay, so. So, okay. So I'm just gonna type in my then my password the name of my girlfriend and i'm just going to click on login so guys there we are this is the admin panel of our backend of our system so if you've worked with sites like joomla drupal sorry joomla wordpress uh, you notice that they have this similar kind of dashboard so if you've worked with such kind of systems content management systems you notice that uh, this system also has got similar interface to it so if you've used if you're familiar with such softwares it'll be pretty easy for you to understand so i'm not gonna go much through as and go around the software in this tutorial i'm gonna go up as we're gonna have a tour in our next tutorial so because i just don't want i just want to keep this tutorial short and simple so in our next tutorial we're gonna have a tour on this software where i'll be talking about all the other features that the software comes with and some of the things that you could just get online so guys that's briefly much about it so i'll see you in the next tutorial where we're gonna have a tour on this watching <laughs>